Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In the dynamic world of investing, mutual funds have long been a preferred choice for those looking to grow their wealth over the long term. However, not all mutual funds are created equal. Some cater to the risk averse, offering stability and steady returns, while others are designed for the daring investors willing to take on high risk for the potential of greater rewards. In 2024, the markets exhibiting increased volatility and uncertainty, investing in high-risk mutual funds is a strategy that appeals to those who are bold enough to embrace market fluctuations in the pursuit of significant returns. High-risk mutual funds stand out for their potential to deliver substantial returns, albeit with a significant level of risk. These funds invest in securities that have higher chance of fluctuating in value. High-risk mutual funds typically include equity funds, sector-specific funds, small-cap and mid-cap funds, and certain types of thematic funds. The volatility in these funds stems from their exposure to market dynamics, economic cycles, and specific sector performances. As we steer through 2024, understanding the intricacies of high-risk mutual funds become crucial for investors looking to optimize their portfolios in a volatile market environment. While the potential for high returns is a key attraction, the risk factor is equally significant. In this video, we'll explore the various categories of high-risk mutual funds, delve into their performance and characteristics, and discuss their suitability for different types of investors in the current market landscape. These are the categories of high-risk mutual funds. Let's delve into the various categories of mutual funds that are generally considered high-risk. Equity Mutual Cap Mid and Small Cap Equity Mutual Funds Mid and small cap funds are equity mutual funds that focus on investing in companies with medium to small market capitalizations. These funds are considered high risk due to their inherent volatility of mid and small cap stocks, which are more susceptible to market fluctuations, economic changes, and company specific risk. However, they also offer significant growth potential, especially during periods of economic expansion or market rallies. In 2024, mid and small cap funds have drawn considerable attention from investors looking to capitalize on their growth prospects despite the increased market volatility. The second half of 2024 brought challenges as global economic uncertainties and inflationary pressure led to increased market volatility. Mid and small cap funds were particularly affected with many experiencing significant drawdowns. Nevertheless, despite these fluctuations, the long-term performance of these funds remains promising, especially for investors with a high risk tolerance who can weather short-term volatility for potential long-term gains. Mid and small cap funds in India are encountering stretched valuations when compared to their large cap counterparts. This divergence has emerged as a result of the rapid appreciation in stock prices within the mid and small cap segments. Driven by strong investor interest and optimism about the growth prospects of smaller companies. However, this surge in valuations has raised concerns about sustainability as these stocks are now trading at higher price to earning ratios relative to their historical averages and large caps. As you can see from the table, average P ratio for large cap funds is between 21 to 25. This relatively moderate valuation reflects the stability and maturity of large cap companies, which tend to have more predictable earnings and less volatility. However, the average P-E ratio of mid-cap funds has stretched around 30 to 32. This higher valuation is driven by strong investor demand and expectation of robust growth, but it also raises concern about potential overvaluation, especially if growth slows or market sentiments shift. Small-cap funds are trading at an even higher P-E ratio, typically ranging from 32 to 36. This steep valuation underscores the significant optimism surrounding the growth potential of smaller companies. However, it also amplifies the risk as small caps are more susceptible to market volatility and economic downturns. These stretched valuations in mid and small cap funds suggest that investors are pricing in aggressive growth expectations, which may not be sustainable if market conditions deteriorate. With their moderate P-E ratios offer relatively better value and stability in the current market environment. This calls for cautious investment strategies, especially for those considering exposure to the more volatile mid and small cap sectors. These mid and small cap funds are best suited for investors with a high risk appetite and a long investment horizon. These funds are ideal for those who can withstand the inherent volatility of mid and small cap segment and are willing to stay invested throughout market cycles. 
Young investors or those with a diversified portfolio can absorb potential losses, may find these funds particularly appealing. For a balanced investment strategy, mid and small cap funds should typically form a part of investors' overall portfolio rather than being the sole focus. Allocating a portion of the portfolio to these funds can enhance diversification and increase the potential for higher returns, especially in a bullish market. However, Due to their volatility, it's crucial that investors complement these funds with more stable, low-risk investments such as large-cap or multi-cap funds to balance the overall risk. Second are the sector-oriented mutual funds. Sector-specific mutual funds, a subcategory of equity mutual funds, have gained popularity for their targeted investment strategies, focusing on specific sectors. These funds are inherently high-risk due to their concentrated investment in particular market segments making them highly sensitive to sectoral trends and economic shifts. Unlike diversified equity funds, these funds channel investment into particular industries or themes, making them more vulnerable to sector-specific risk. In 2024, the performance of these funds has been a mixed bag, with some sectors experiencing robust growth while others have faced significant challenges due to market volatility and global economic uncertainties. The risk ratio provides a comparative view of risk-adjusted returns for different mutual fund categories. Pharma mutual funds have a standard deviation of 14.50, indicating relatively high volatility. Their Sharpe ratio of 0.39 and Sortino of 0.87 suggest moderate risk-adjusted returns with a better performance in terms of downside risk compared to the benchmark. FMCG funds show a lower standard deviation of 12.80, implying less volatility. The Sharpe ratio of 0.45 and Sortino ratio of 1 reflect superior risk-adjusted returns and effective downside risk management. Infrastructure funds have a higher standard deviation of 16.69, signifying greater volatility. With a Sharpe ratio of 0.42 and a Sortino ratio of 0.90, these funds provide good risk-adjusted returns, though they experience higher fluctuations than FMCG funds. Thus, FMCG funds offer the best balance of risk return with lower volatility and higher risk adjusted ratios. Infrastructure and pharma funds have higher volatility but also provide strong returns relative to their risk profiles. Over the past year, certain sectoral funds, particularly those focused on technology and healthcare, have delivered robust returns. The technology sector has benefited from continued digital transformation and advancements in artificial intelligence. While healthcare has remained strong due to ongoing global demand for innovative medical solutions. However, sectoral funds also experience significant volatility with sharp corrections during periods of market sell offs, reflecting the inherent risk associated with concentrated investments. These funds are best suited for investors who have a strong understanding of the specific sector and are willing to take on concentrated risk. They are ideal for those looking to capitalize on specific economic trends or innovations. Third are the thematic mutual funds that invest in a particular theme such as ESG, environmental, social and governance, global megatrends or emerging markets. These funds are similar to sector funds but focus on broader themes that may span multiple industries. Thematic funds have varied performances based on the theme. Funds centered around infrastructure and green energy have performed well driven by government initiatives under the Modi 3.0 administration. The emphasis on infrastructure development, particularly with the push for modernizing transportation networks and boosting urban development, has bolstered infrastructure funds. Similarly, the government's focus on renewable energy and sustainability has provided a strong tailwind for green energy funds. However, these sectors are also sensitive to changes in government policies, economic conditions, making thematic funds a high-risk, high-reward proposition. Thematic funds are suitable for investors with a specific interest in the theme and a higher risk appetite. They are ideal for those looking to align their investments with personal values or capitalize on global trends. However, given the concentrated exposure, these funds should ideally complement a well-diversified portfolio rather than serve as a core holding. Fourth are the Momentum Mutual Funds. A subcategory under the equity mutual funds are designed to capitalize on the market trends by investing in stocks that have shown strong performance over recent periods. These funds operate on the principle that stocks which have outperformed in the recent past are likely to continue their upward trajectory in the near future. 
Nevertheless, this strategy inherently carries a high level of risk as it relies on the continuation of market trends, which can be unpredictable and subject to sudden reversals. Momentum mutual funds in India have delivered mixed performance, reflecting the volatility and fluctuations of the Indian equity market in 2024. The year began on a strong note with these funds benefiting from the bullish trends in sectors such as technology, pharmaceuticals and financial services. Stocks in these sectors gained momentum as they were buoyed by strong earnings reports and positive market sentiments. However, as the year progressed, the market faced increased volatility due to inflationary pressure, global economic uncertainties and geopolitical tensions, which impacted the performance of momentum funds. Momentum mutual funds are designed to capitalize on trends in the market by tracking the performance of a momentum index. These funds follow a passive investing strategy, which means they aim to replicate the returns of an index that identifies stocks or assets with strong recent performance and positive momentum. The Nifty 200 Momentum 30 Index is a specialized benchmark designed to capture the performance of the top 30 companies from the Nifty 200 Index that exhibit high momentum. This index selects stocks based on their past performance, specifically those that have shown significant price momentum over a defined period. By concentrating on high momentum stocks, this index aims to deliver superior returns, though it may also experience higher volatility compared to broader market indices. The Modi 3.0 government's policies have also played a significant role in shaping the performance of momentum mutual funds. The market's reaction to policy announcements, particularly around taxation and regulatory changes, introduced volatility leading to sharp corrections in certain sectors. For instance, sectors like manufacturing and traditional energy, which faced headwinds due to policy shifts, impacted the performance of momentum funds with significant exposure to these areas. In the context of 2024, with the Indian equity market exhibiting significant fluctuations, momentum mutual funds offer a bold investment option for those who are willing to actively monitor market trends and adjust their portfolios accordingly. Investors who understand the dynamics of momentum investing and have the ability to ride out short-term volatility may find these funds rewarding. However, it is crucial to approach these investments with caution as the performance of momentum funds can be heavily influenced by market sentiment and external economic factors. Last but not the least, international or global funds, which invest in companies outside of the investor's home country. These funds offer diversification benefit but also come with risk related to currency exchange rates, political instability and economic cycles in different countries. Over the past year, the performance of these funds has been influenced by a mix of factors, including geopolitical tensions, varying economic recovery rates across regions and fluctuating exchange rates. While some global funds have benefited from strong performance in emerging markets and robust growth in technology and healthcare sectors, others have struggled due to economic slowdowns and political uncertainties in key regions. The past few years have been particularly challenging for international mutual funds due to heightened geopolitical risk and trade tensions between major economies. For instance, recent tension between US and China have impacted global supply chains and trade flows, creating volatility in the markets heavily reliant on international trade. In Europe, the ramifications of Russia-Ukraine and Israel-Hamas wars loom large, with maritime transport disruptions through the Red Sea posing challenges to global supply chains and inflationary pressures. Additionally, fluctuations in currency exchange rates have also played a crucial role as the strength of the US dollar and other major currencies has affected the performance of international investments. International global funds are suitable for investors looking to diversify their portfolio geographically and are willing to take on additional risk related to foreign markets. They are ideal for those who want exposure to global growth opportunities. However, due to the complexities of global markets, investors should be well informed and prepared for the additional risk associated with international investments. To conclude, in the current market environment of 2024, characterized by economic uncertainties and geopolitical tensions, the risk-reward balance of high-risk mutual funds is more pronounced than ever. Investors must approach these funds with a well-thought-out strategy like the core and satellite strategy, keeping a long-term perspective and staying informed about market conditions. While high-risk mutual funds can be a valuable component of a diversified investment portfolio, they are best suited for those who are prepared to navigate their inherent volatility and seek significant growth opportunities. 
So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. For more such guidance on mutual fund investment, check out the related article and videos. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel for watching interesting investment related videos. Also, now we are available on WhatsApp. You can join our free WhatsApp channel for daily insight, market and mutual fund related updates. All links are provided in the description below. Signing off for now, happy investing. Please note that this video is for information purpose and does not constitute any kind of investment advice or a recommendation to buy, hold or sell a fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme related documents carefully. Registration granted by SEBI, membership of BSL and certification from NISM in no way guarantee performance of the intermediary or provide any assurance of return to investors. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all related documents carefully before investing.